The OJs Then and Now The OJs are an American R&B group from Canton, Ohio, formed in 1958 while its members were attending Canton McKinley High School. Originally known as the Mascots, and then the Triumphs, the Friends began recording with Miracles in 1961, which was a moderate hit in the Cleveland area. In 1963, they took the name, The OJs, in tribute to Cleveland radio disc jockey Eddie OJ. The OJs made their first chart appearance with the minor hit, Lonely Drifter, in 1963, but reached their greatest level of success once Gamble and Huff, a team of producers and songwriters, signed them to their Philadelphia International label in 1972. With Gamble and Huff, the OJs, now a trio after the departure of Isles and Massey, emerged at the forefront of Philadelphia soul. The OJs have released 10 gold albums, with 9 eventually going platinum and 10 number one hits. The OJs were inducted into the Vocal Group Hall of Fame in 2004, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2005, and the Rhythm and Blues Music Hall of Fame in 2013. On June 28, 2009, at the 2009 BET Awards show in the Shrine Auditorium, the OJs were honored with BET's 2009 Lifetime Achievement Award. In this video we are going to focus on the OJs then and now. On our channel we feature such videos. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to our channel for such. Eddie Levert. Edward Willis Levert, born June 16, 1942, is an American singer, best known as the lead vocalist of the OJs. While at high school, he teamed up with classmates Walter Williams, William Powell, Bobby Massey, and Bill Isles to form a group called The Triumphs. In 1969, the OJs signed with Philadelphia International Records where they began to release records under the new label. In spite of their success as a touring group and on the R&B chart, the group had been considering quitting the music industry in 1972. Around that time, original members Bill Isles and Bobby Massey departed, leaving the group a trio. The OJs later signed with EMI Manhattan Records and Levert and Williams began co-writing and producing their own tracks. In 1992 Eddie and son Gerald recorded, Baby Hold On To Me, which was a number one R&B hit and reached number 37 pop on the charts. In 2007, Eddie and son Gerald's album recorded in 2006, Something To Talk About, was released followed by the publication of the book, I Got Your Back, co-authored by Eddie and son Gerald. In 2009, the OJs were awarded BET's Lifetime Achievement Award, and Eddie Levert was awarded the Heroes and Legends Paysetter Award. On January 29, 2011, the OJs received the Trumpet Lifetime Achievement Award. He is 80 years old. Levert is still performing and touring with the OJs well as performing as a solo artist. Walter Williams. Walter Williams, born August 25, 1943, was an American singer, best known as the lead vocalist of the OJs. After Bill Isles and Bobby Massey departed, leaving the group a trio. The remaining three original members, Eddie Levert, William Powell, and Walter Williams continued recording together, and Gamble and Huff, a team of producers and songwriters with whom the OJs had been working for several years, signed them to their Philadelphia International label. In 2003, the trio co-starred in the film The Fighting Temptations, which starred Cuba Gooding Jr. and Beyonce Knowles. On October 30, 2010, the group performed at John Stewart and Stephen Colbert's rally to restore sanity and or fear in Washington, D.C. Williams still performs with the OJs. He is 79 years old. Sammy Strain. Samuel Strain Jr., born December 9, 1939, is an American R&B vocalist, known for his time as a member of Little Anthony and the Imperials, 1958-1972, to 1992-2005, and the OJs, 1975-1992. He holds the unusual distinction of being twice inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2005 with the OJs and in 2009 with Little Anthony and the Imperials. Strain formed the Chips with several friends in 1956. He sang with a tenor voice. In 1958, Strain joined the Imperials, they later reunited with their lead singer and reformed Little Anthony and the Imperials. From 1975 to 1992, Strain was part of the OJs replacing original member William Powell as he was diagnosed with colon cancer, he rejoined the Imperials, and sang with them until retiring in 2005. He is 82 years old. William Will Powell Jr. Rhythm and Blues Singer. He was a founding member of the Canton, Ohio-based musical group, The OJs. He was called Will by his fellow members. He was the high tenor of the group. 
Suffering from advanced colon cancer and a drug addiction, William had to stop touring with the group in 1976, he died of cancer two years after being diagnosed in 1975 at age 35. Him under the OJs were inducted into the Vocal Group Hall of Fame in 2004 and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2005. Eric Grant Eric Nolan Grant was born in July 20, 1957. Cleveland, Ohio he is a vocalist and songwriter and a member of the American R&B and soul group, the OJs. He joined the Deltons, a Cleveland singing group as a teenager, Eric realized at the age of 19 that he wanted a career in music. His professional career started when he began singing background vocals for Dennis Edwards of The Temptations in 1984. After a year of singing background vocals for the father and son tour with the Eddie and the late Gerald Levert, Eric auditioned for and nailed the position as the third and youngest member of the legendary OJs. Eric Nolan Grant hosts his own radio show on Woven 95.9 FM in Cleveland, where he plays a variety of new and old R&B hits. The music veteran has his own record label with Boy Wonder Records. Mr. Grant is also currently developing a film based on his life story, titled, I Am My Brother's Keeper. He is 62 years old. Bill Isles. Bill Isles and his childhood friends in Canton, Ohio, formed the Mascots in 1958 before changing the name to the Triumphs and releasing a single in 1961. The band changed its name to the OJs after getting pivotal advice from a Cleveland DJ named Eddie OJ. Isles was featured on songs including Lonely Drifter and Lipstick Traces before he quit the group in 1965. Dwayne Isles says his father was the OJ's tour manager between 1971 and 1974, when the group released its biggest hits, Love Train and Backstabbers. Isles died of cancer in 2019 at his home in Oceanside, he was 78 years. Dyke Arlister Christian Arlister Christian was born in Buffalo, New York in 1943. In 1965 he sang and played bass guitar with the OJ's backing band, The Blazers. Dyke and some of the Blazers were left in Phoenix, Arizona after the OJs found that they couldn't afford to bring the band back to Buffalo. Dyke and the Blazers was an American funk band led by Arlister Christian. The band was formed in 1965, and recorded up until Christian's death in 1971. He died March 13, 1971. Bobby Massey Bobby Massey was a founding member of the OJs. He left the group in 1971, shortly before they signed to Gamble and Huff's Philadelphia International label. He then concentrated on production. Born in Canton, Ohio in 1942. President at DevKey Records. Thank you for watching, remember to subscribe and hit the notification button. See you on the next video.